Music Freak, I'm back with another kind of like reaction video. I have my list of my 1,000 favorite songs ever, and we're little by little working our way up the list. We're at 991, uh, a disco classic, to say the least, a song called There But For The Grace Of God Go I by a group called Machine. 991 on my list. It probably should be ranked a little higher now that I think about it. But it was a great disco song. Uh, takes brings us back to a wonderful place in my life and my childhood for sure. All right, so I'm going to give you a description of what the song's about. Actually, I had a little difficulty finding a write up about the actual song, but I found out a, a write up about the group Machine. And let me talk to you about Machine. They were an American funk, disco, and rock group formed in New York City and originally active from 1977 through 1981. The band reached its biggest success with the single, There But For The Grace Of God Go I, which became a disco hit in 1979. Uh, the group was formed by singer Jay Stovall in 1977 with the intent to create the disco equivalent of R&B message songs. The band released its self-titled debut album in 1979 which produced its most famous single, There But For The Grace Of God Go I. The song describes two Latino parents named Carlos and Carmen Vidal who move out of the Bronx to protect their baby daughter. In their new surroundings, their daughter is cut off from her own heritage and becomes self-destructive from the vitals. Uh, Co-setting. <laughs> uh, when the daughter grows up, her parents find she is the type of person from whom all their peers are trying to protect their own children. It ends with the mother's conclusion that too much love is worse than none at all. The song ended up being censored twice. The original lyrics in the third verse, Popping Pills and Smoking Weed, were changed to Gaining Weight and Losing Sleep. <laughs> and later, the first uh, verse lyrics, Let's find a place they say, Somewhere far away with no blacks, no Jews, and no gays, was changed to, Let's find a place they say, Somewhere far away where only upper class people stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there But For The Grace of God Go I was a, was a hit for the band, reaching number 77 on the Billboard Hot 100 and spending 10 weeks on the chart, uh, and was rated, ranked number 3 on the dance chart early in 1979. Um, uh, critic uh, Robert uh, Christigal said the song was irresistibly irresistible musically, so still the disco disc of 1979. Although he found the rest of Machine's first album either mildly arresting musically or ordinary, easily influenced black pop funk rock. Slant Magazine later named it the sixth greatest dance song of all time. And Pitchfork Media included it in its collection of the Pitchfork 500s. Machine released its second and final album, Moving On, in 1980, with two accompanying singles, but the album suffered from poor sales. The group disbanded the following year in August Darnell, went on to form Kid Creole and Coconuts, who released the cover of their book For the Grace of God Go I in 1980. In 2009, three of the band's original members, Jay Stovall, Kevin Nance, and Claire Bath, reformed the act for a tour, for an oldies uh, reunion tour. <laughs> so that's the story of their book For the Grace of God Go I by Machine. I am now going to play a video of a song. Hope you enjoy it. You might shake your booty in your seat. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> please subscribe. Please like. Please share. All the usual stuff. I wish you all a wonderful, blessed day. Peace and love.